guest tonight is at her own HBO comedy special and a co host of the show on Sirius Radio. Please welcome Bonnie McFarlane. But I, I do this for the money. Uh, <laughs> listen, I think I experienced real sexism today. I was walking down the street, and this dude, I'd never met him before in my life, total stranger, he walked right up to me and goes, smile. I was like, are you really telling me how to make my facial expressions? Then he walked over to a guy in a wheelchair. He was like, walk. <laughs> so, didn't have anything to do with gender. Just had some control issues. <laughs> I hate when people tell me to smile. You can't be happy all the time. You'll ruin your liver. Sometimes you gotta put the bottle down. Like if you're making a left. <laughs> Let's talk about texting and driving. I hate when I hear people say, I only do it once in a while. That's the kind of thinking that'll get you killed. To be good at something, you need to practice. <laughs> you gotta do it all the time. On ramps, off ramps, when you're merging. I know it's hard if you're like me, you close your eyes, but you gotta try. <laughs> Lives are at stake. I love my phone. I love my, I lost my daughter in Walmart once. I did not have the same anxiety. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I left my phone in the bathroom at TGI Fridays. My, I love my daughter too, but I wouldn't freak out if she fell in the toilet. <laughs> I think you have to parent differently now than the way that our parents parented us. Like, you can't just leave your kid in the car unless you're like, stay down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want someone to break my window. My daughter's eight, and uh, people tell us we look the same all the time. They just like walk up to us at a grocery store and they go, oh my God, you guys look exactly the same, which I don't know, it makes me uncomfortable. I always feel kind of a fit. I just think I'm so much hotter than she is. <laughs> I mean, she's got her own thing going on, if you're into that. <laughs> it is like the hardest thing about parenting is like to punish your kid. So, so there's no rules in our house. We don't have, well, there's no TV and no, no books either. No learning of any kind. We don't believe in it. We just, she has Minecraft and then we got her a Tinder account. <laughs> yeah, she loves to swipe. Uh, my daughter told me the other day, she goes, I know a bad word worse than the F word. I was like, what is it? She goes, caught. <laughs> it took everything in me not to be like, you're saying it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look who doesn't know everything. <laughs> we always get in these arguments about what you can say, what words you can't say. She told me the other day that you can't say the word crap. I was like, oh my God, you can totally say the word crap. She said, no, if you say it at school, it's considered a bad word, you'll get in trouble. I was like, that is such bull <laughs> that is stupid. She was like, you can't say the word stupid. If you say the word stupid at school, you get in trouble. I was like, oh my God, your teacher sounds like a real cot. You know that? <laughs> Thank you. I was bullied. I was bullied in school. I was bullied all through middle school because I matured so quickly. I had a, I had a full beard in eighth grade. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really was bullied, and it's awful. If you've ever been bullied, it's like a terrible thing. I would come home every day after school, and I would cry. And then my mom, I guess in a moment of tough love, she sat me down. She said, you know what, Bonnie? There are people out there that have it worse off than you do, and you can bully them. <laughs> and once I started doing that, my self-esteem went through the roof. <laughs> It feels amazing. <laughs> I actually I'm getting comfortable when I hear grown women complaining about their childhoods because it's usually so petty. And you know, there are women out there that have real tragedy go down their lives, real hardship, and yet they're out there, they're killing it every day. They're lawyers and astronauts and cowgirls. I don't know all the different stripper costumes. <laughs> but there's a lot of them. <laughs> you can be anything you want to be at the beginning of your song. <laughs> That's a dancer saying, words we can all live by. Thank you very much, everybody. A nice crowd. Thank you. Her new book is You're Better Than Me, Bonnie McFarlane, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>